as Southeast governors moved to set up the zone security outfit, which they said would be community based. Some stakeholders have said the body would curb crimes, particularly the activities of rogue Hesme. It's worse. We will advise our leaders to ensure that our core rural areas where these rogue Hesme terrorize destroy farmlands, keep rape and maim are well fortified. Already, some of the states, like Enugu, have put in place forest guards who patrol the forest and provide intelligence to security agencies. This group has to be fortified more and even their numbers increased and ensure that they also patrol farmlands. Again, one of the most important measures to be adopted is to ban SME from having camps in the forest and bushes. This is one reason they have continued to commit all manner of atrocities in our zone. Like Delta State Government is trying to do, SME will no longer be allowed to live in forests in the southeast. They should be made to hire, lease or purchase land, fence it and rear their animals. Our brothers doing business in the north do not live in the bush and do not get shops free. They pay for homes and shops, do their business and go home after the day's work. This must apply to the herdsmen. They have to follow modern trends in animal rearing. Nobody will allow them to continue with the old ways which have been creating problems. Also, a former boss of Afipo South local government area of Ebony State, Chief Eni Chima, applauded the initiative. According to him, the proposed security architecture would enhance the security, welfare, and psychological well-being of the people of the zone. He said, Southeast Community Policing will eliminate the siege mentally, mentality in some quarters, especially if it will stop the prevalent multiplicity of checkpoints understood by people of the zone as extortion points. By the participation of the people in their own security apparatus, confidence is built and efficiency achieved because peculiar security challenges are properly treated, even with homeland solutions. The security outfit will definitely synchronize very gated, very gated staccato of security action plans among the individual state towards attaining maximum and better quality output. Meanwhile, ex-Deputy National Secretary of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga, Chief Jerry Obasi, said for the outfit to be effective, there must be sincerity of purpose and non-politicization of the program, hmm. politicization of the program, exactly. In fact, they really, they really hit the point. The most important thing is that if it's not going to be politicized and if they are going to be sincere about it, everything will be okay. That is a good decision and a very firm uh, initiative. It has to be firm if they are going to cooperate because some of the things that we are hearing in Delta, some of the uh, monarchs and it's cut across because if uh, this if the people who are inside or the community the host communities the people the owner of the of the of the community if they are not allowing themselves if they don't allow greed to set in if they are not working against their people by sending land oh you think oh you, you, are, you are trying to maintain a, a what is it to be politically correct oh you are trying to be friendly these guys are not friendly if the same people that they have been living together with uh over how many decades and all of a sudden, things have changed. The people who have been there, who, who feel that they were born in that community, they should be able to fish out those who are penetrating, who are using, you know, denting their, their, their image. But what we see is that it's like they are always quiet. They don't even say anything. So if you are quiet and you are not coming out to say, no, we are part of, we are part of you people. We have been in this community for a very long time. You know how we behave. And we don't want to be part of people who are just coming in. You have known us for a very long time. But people who are coming in, uh, you know, saying they are our people and they want to dance our image, we want to exonerate ourselves, we want to separate ourselves from them. At least the people, the community people will know that, yes, you people are sincere, but a situation whereby those people are coming and you are not saying anything, you are not distancing yourself from them. Everybody, they will categorize, categorize it together and you don't expect the host community to say, oh yes, because they are believing with you people and yes, okay, uh, we have to continue like that. Things have changed. As things have changed, the host communities too, they must change. You cannot be saying because uh, they've been living together, so they have to learn how to live to, with them. No, we can't li live to them like that. They cannot live with them like that. When their people are being taken, their lives are being taken, 
on a daily basis and you expect to expect them to fold their hands it's not going to happen if you know you are not a criminal if you know that you are sincere rent a place let it be done in the way and manner at which everybody will be able to monitor nobody should stay inside the bush nobody should be should stay inside the bush and just like they are saying and we've been talking about it the so-called southeast people or the southerners they go to the north they don't cause problem for the people there they do things accordingly they do things accordingly, accordingly and they are law abiding. So it has to be like that in this manner. What With what we are seeing now, if these governors or whatsoever, they are the Southeast governors, if they are not going to compromise at the end of the day, it will be a good thing because they are the ones that will say, oh, these are our plans. The masses, the public will be happy. The people in that area will be so happy. But at the end of the day, they will change everything. The same leaders, the same governors, they will change everything. Why well, after you must have giving the people hope that you are going to do this and that at the end of the day they see that you are pussyfooty about it you expect them to trust you they won't trust you again but with this kind of a thing if they can follow you through it's going to be a good thing because initially they told us that time that oh that they didn't want a esme that the reason why those people are coming into the community because they believe that their gratis are sweeter than the ones they have over there and they said okay if that is the point we are going to be uh, selling the grasses to you, you come and take the grasses and take it back to your place since you have a land enough to keep your stuff. But at the end of the day, all those plants, you know, were, uh, they were swept under the carpet. Now they are bringing another initiative. If they can follow this plan through, if they can follow through, it will be a good thing. There, there will be peace. If you want to do your business, just like they have said, their own people who are over there, they rent their places, they go there, they do everything, they go back to their houses. Nobody should be allowed to stay inside uh, uh, the bush. If they can go by this initiative, of course, it will be a great thing. Not that, uh, you know, trying to come and tell people what they want to hear. And at the end of the day, you go and do another thing. Most especially the, the governor of that Ebony state, because he's their, he's their chairman. He should, he should be firm on what he... He, he believes in, not that uh, at the end of the day we'll be hearing that, oh, some governors collected money from all these SMA, this and this and that. You are trying to put them together. You are trying to be to be politically correct. It does not work like that because these people, they go to the, farmer, the, the farmer's farmland to go and destroy. They don't reason all of those things. They don't think, they don't, they don't care for them. They don't even put them into consideration. And at the end of the day, by the time the farmers want to retaliate, to say, why are you doing this? If you want to challenge them, that is where the problem comes in they will not tell you it's a, a clashes between the farmers and the headers no that is not the the correct word because these people are looking for trouble so if these governors if they can go with this initiative it will be a very good thing someone says too much of your talk is really getting on my nerves what is all this when the demons in questions are busy preparing and equipping themselves to fear that's what somebody's saying it, trying to tell it, the governors they are talk 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 you know let's action start let's see your action let's see what you want to do every day you say this another day you will say this do what you want to do and let people know what and let them see that you are, you are really serious about this whole thing because everybody is just tired they will tell you one thing today tomorrow they will say another thing it's not going to work well like that and you don't expect people to be happy someone says bring out your own plan don't ever think it is as simple as you may think all this they are talking and planning consists of yes, the replants and informing the federal government of the dangerous conditions of these uh, terrorist Fulani's headers are constituting, so that when it starts to work, the federal government will not have reason to send army or police to start killing people on pretense of restoring peace. Okay, we need honest leaders like Mazen Namdekano that can never betray uh, his people. Very good. May God unite us to subdue our common enemy of progress in our land and beloved country Nigeria in due course. Some say confused, confused bunch cowards. One call for Abuja, we put them in disarray. Okay, one call. Okay, they need to be. They need, they need to be more united. They need to be more united because you cannot. If you think that you are okay, everything is fine. You don't care about other people. <laughs> A time will come that. Uh, that comfort you think you are getting. I'm talking about this, uh, the so-called leaders because most of them, at times, uh, they don't seem to care. They're just like, okay, well, it's, not, it's not affecting me. It's not affecting my immediate family. By the time it starts affecting them, that is when you see that they will put more effort. Most of them, the attitude they always put, put up is that, mm, hey, okay, it's not affecting them. But a time will come that you will not even escape it. So the better 
the earlier you did the right thing, the better for you. Because you don't even know what tomorrow holds for you. Because you think you are comfortable today. If you don't do the needful, but it takes somebody who has conscience to be able to think for others, to be able to have compassion for others. Because you just have to put yourself in that position that if I'm one of these farmers, if I'm one of these just ordinary people on the street, you know, it could be anybody. It's not because you are so special. You just found yourself in this position. So you cannot brag that all because you ha yeah, you 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 are so hard working. That is why things are working for you. Those who are even ordinary people, they are working hard. So it's a privilege that you are there. So you, if you can put yourself in the position of all those less privileged people, I think they will be able to do the needful. Step up your action immediately. That is one of your duty as fathers to protect your children's future. Someone said you are still talking. For over five years, Fulani people have taken over our farmlands in Enugu State. Before you go to farm, you will say your last prayer hmm. that before you go to your family you will say your last prayer so they just need to 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 act fast all they say talk okay talk talk let them finalize everything on time so guys let us hear your points if they can do this kind of a thing honest honestly it's going to be tough for the s men